Don't be scared of Bray's liquid conditionals. Follow these five rules and you'll have a much better understanding of Bray's liquid conditionals. What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornell Marketing, and welcome to day 25 of Bray's Miss 2023. Merry Christmas, everyone. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today, we are going to talk about my favorite topic, Braze liquid, and particularly liquid conditionals, which are if, else, if, else statements. Oftentimes, marketers can be intimidated when it comes to liquid conditionals, but if you just follow these five rules, you'll have a much better understanding of Bray's liquid conditionals. Let's get started. Rule number one, every if statement needs a matching end if statement. A very common syntax issue I see is when marketers forget to close the liquid conditional with the end if statement. So for example, let's say I'm writing an if statement that says if holiday equals Christmas, then we say Merry Christmas. And then we sometimes forget to close the if statement with the matching end if statement. And one very helpful strategy for whenever you're writing liquid from scratch is if you end up writing an if statement, just add the end if statement right away. That way you start to build the habit that every if statement needs a matching end if statement. And without an end if statement, Bray's liquid will think you never finished your conditional and will think the rest of your code is part of the liquid or oftentimes just not render at all. Rule number two, if is required for every conditional block, but else if and else are not required. Keep it simple, stupid. A conditional block just needs an if and matching end if statement to function properly. So that means that this statement right here is actually a perfectly fine liquid syntax. And I can actually go ahead and run it. It's not going to render, but there is no issues with this statement right here, with these statements right here. Else and else statements might be necessary to achieve your logic, but they're not required for every conditional block. If you're just starting out with learning Braze Liquid, practice writing conditional blocks that just have if and end if statements to become more familiar, one step at a time. Rule number three in conditional statements, use double equal sign. So inside your conditional statements, which are these statements right here, whenever you wanna check whether a variable's value matches something, we use double equal signs, not a single equal sign. So you already saw two examples of that here. I wanna check if the variable holiday is equal to the string Christmas, then we check double equal sign. A single variable is only used when we're signing variables. So for example, assign holiday equals Christmas. That would be when we use a single variable when we're assigning a value to a variable. Rule number four, else statements do not require a logic statement. Else is your default fallback logic. It captures every other case besides what you listed in your if and else if statements above. That's also why else statements come at the very end of every conditional block, of course, besides the end if statement. Lastly, rule number five, when using conditional statements, Liquid will read from top to bottom and only the first true statement between each if and end if will render. So this rule could have been broken up into two rules because there are two ideas here. But first, as with most cases in computer science, Bray's liquid reads from top to bottom. That means that every logic statement will be evaluated starting from your very first if statement, then moving down to the next statements and then ending with your else statement. Second, as liquid is evaluating your logic statements from top to bottom, liquid will only render the first true statement. So as soon as Liquid detects a logic statement that is correct, that statement will be run and no other logic statements below will be considered. In other words, every conditional block only renders one statement. So following that logic, my variable holiday is set to Christmas. Liquid is gonna start from the top and then see that holiday is equal to Christmas. This is the first true statement. It's gonna render Merry Christmas and then that will be it. Let's see what happens if we test it says Merry Christmas versus let's say I change my variable holiday to Thanksgiving. So once again, we start from the very top. We look at holiday equals Christmas. That's not true. Go to the next one, holiday equals Thanksgiving. That is true. So then if we run this one, it's going to say Happy Thanksgiving. And then of course, if I gave it a different holiday like Independence Day, 
braze liquid is going to go down the list one more time check the if statement very top that's not it check the next statement that's not it check the next l statement which is the last one which is covers every single other statements that is it so it's going to say have a great day that's it for day 25. Thank you all for following our first Braze Myth series. Hope you learned a lot during these first 25 days of December. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next year.